Okay, more complicated equations, just what you were hoping to hear. All right, if you notice, these two things are the same. They're showing you how you could do it one way or another, and you will still get the right solution, the same solutions. They're, um, you can do it two different ways. We haven't done this yet, where we have x's on both sides. Okay, so I always like to get the x's on the same side first. They see each other across that equal sign. They're like, oh, we need to get together. We're lost. This is too much. So I always look at, uh, well, I'll do it the way a lot of people start, and then I'll tell you how I kind of think ahead. So they might see this and go, okay, um, I want the x's over here. So let's get rid of the x here. So I'm going to subtract 5x's. Remember, like terms. So if I subtract 5x from this side, I have to subtract it from this side. But I do not subtract it from the 4 because they are not like terms. I have to subtract it from the like terms. All right, so see how they're lined up where they should be? And then we're going to go ahead and calculate. We have a negative 5x and a positive 3x, so we have negative 2x. Minus 4 is still here, and now 7 is alone over there, poor 7. Now, this looks like one we've done in the last lesson. Let's get the 4, rid of the 4 over here. Let's add 4. And we have negative 2x equals 11. And I guess I ran out of room, but that's okay. So now I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2. And that cancels out. So we have x equals negative 11 halves. Write it over here. Okay, now can we check that? Absolutely. So here's some fun colored paper to, to, to check. Okay, we're going to say see if 11 halves is a root of this. And then just go ahead and let's calculate it. Okay, there is no cross canceling there, so it's negative 32. Whoops, negative 32. Whoa, where did I get 32? Negative 33 halves minus 4. Does that equal negative 55 halves plus 7? Well, that kind of looks interesting. Might have to take it another step and put these over half over 2. So we have like uh, same denominators. So we would go, if I want to put that over 2, then I'm going to get negative 8 halves. And then I'm going to have 14 halves. Okay, so let's see if this works. 33 and 8 together, they're both negative. So we get 41, negative 41 halves, right? And 55 take away 14 is negative 41. True. So yes, this was quite a bit of work just to check, but I'm happy with it. Now there's another way we could solve it. Just last time we took 5x away from both sides. Since 5x is the positive one, I tend to use have that one be where everybody goes. So like here, I see 5x is bigger than 3x. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 3x from both sides. Just because I don't like, I like it to be positive when I combine my like terms, if I can. doesn't always work, but. So then I get this. And now we're going to subtract 7 from both sides. And we get negative, there's that negative 11 again, right? And we get x equals negative 11 halves. So the whole point of doing the same thing here and here, I don't need to check this, right? Because I already did. But why do we do it twice? To show you that there's two ways to do it. And either way it gets us down to the right answer if you follow the steps and follow the rules. All right, this next one is complicated in that it's going to eventually turn out to this, but first we have to always combine like terms. When you're solving equations, look first if there's any like terms on 
each side of the equal sign. So like right here, I see that this needs to combine with this, and then these two need to combine. So when we combine like terms on the left side, we have 3x minus x is 2x. Positive 2 and a positive 4 is, so we have 2x plus 6 on this side. Over here, we have a negative 5 and a negative 4 that can go together. So I'm going to write negative x minus 9. I like to leave with the x, okay? Um, now we're going to get the x's to one side. Now see he's positive, he's negative, so I'm going to deal with that. I'm going to add 1x to both sides, giving me a 3x plus 6 equals negative 9. Alright, now I'm going to subtract or add negative 6 and I have 3x equals negative 15 divide by 3 and it looks like I get x equals negative 5. And now I'm going to try that. Now, I, do I need to plug it in up here? Not really, because I've already combined like terms, so I'm going to plug in um, negative 5 to this. So I'm going to have, and there's no um, fraction, so it shouldn't be terrible, but make sure you have the negative negative here for when we plug in. All right, so I got negative 10 plus 6 equal positive 5 minus 9. So it looks like we have negative 4 and negative 4. True. So we have the correct answer there. Yay. This one, go ahead, try this. Combine your like terms. See what see what happens. Go ahead and pause this and try it on, try it on your own. All right, so I have the k's together. It's negative 3k. And the 3 and the 7 is positive 10. And we're there. Now I like to move this over to here because negative and that one's positive. So I'm going to add 3k to both sides, leaving me with a 10, 5k. Okay. Now I'm going to add 5 to both sides, giving me 15 equals 5k. Divide, divide. 3 equals k. Or you could say k equals 3. It's allowed. Okay. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and plug in this right up here where I had already combined like terms. And see how it goes. So we get negative 9 plus 10 equals 6 minus 5. Oops. So 1 equal 1. True. Yay. So you should say yay when you're done every time, right? Okay. Uh, number 6, 7, 5. Example 5, sorry. Again, like terms first. So a negative 7 and a positive 2 is negative 5 and and on this side, the n's go together, so we have 5n minus 5. Okay, I like to add 5n, so 3 equals 10n minus 5. Add the 5, and we get 8 equals 10n, divide by 10. And so we get 8 tenths, so n equals 4 fifths, because we always want to reduce. And then I'll take my fancy orange paper and check that. 4 fifths, back up here where I've already combined my like terms. So I like seeing this because I already can tell these guys are going to get rid of the fraction right away because I have a 5 on the bottom and 5 on the top. Same here. So it's not going to be like a big fraction jumble. It's going to be, they're going to cancel out. So when this cancels out, we get negative 4 plus 3. 
On this side, we get positive 4 minus 5. All right, so negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1, and that's negative 1. So true, we did get the right answer. This one, next one, add like terms. And now I'm going to subtract 3x. Bring them over there. Add 5. x equals 20. Divide both sides by 6. And I get x equals, now I, to reduce that, it's 10 thirds. And then let's go ahead and check. 10 thirds. Now I do see 2. That's going to actually get rid of the fraction. So is this one. So it's not going to be terrible. Because this now 3 goes away. So we get 30 minus 5 equal this 3 cancels. And we get 25 equal 25. True. Sometimes I write a happy face with my true. And now you guys get to do your own. Looks like there's four of them. Go ahead and give it a shot and come back and watch this if you get stuck. Check your answers. Okay, I am. It's okay. Don't be too cool for this. Letter A, negative 4m when I combine. Okay, I'm going to, I think, in this case, I'm going to subtract 8m because I'll leave everyone where they're at. Divide both sides by negative 12, which is going to give me a positive 1 half. Then if I want, I'm going to check it right here positive one half. So I'm going to check it with this. And see how we go. So we get negative two equal. That is four minus six. And that is true. So we got it right. Letter B, combine like turns. Well, don't have to on that side, but definitely here, here, and here. So 9 plus 8 plus 2, which is 9 plus 10, so we got 19p and minus 10. And I'm going to go ahead and add 6p. So we get 25p minus 10. Add 10. 15 equals 25p. I'm running out of room on my paper. Divide both sides by 25. We're going to get a fraction. And that reduces to, I'm going to write p equals 15 20 fifths reduces to 3 fifths. All right. And then should we go ahead and check it? Sure. Um, 5 minus 6 times 3 fifths. All right, this is going to be a little, maybe more work. Yes, we're going to probably have to give some denominators. Sorry, this one's not very fun for, for checking. So we get 5 minus 18 fifths equal 19 times 3. What? This one's getting out of hand. 57 fifths minus 10. Okay, so we want to put everyone in with fifths. So that is 25 fifths minus 18 fifths. And does that equal 57 fifths minus 50 fifths? And yes, I see that this turns into 7 fifths, and that is 7 fifths. So it's true. Yeah, not, so, not as fun to check, but at least we know it's true. Last two, combine like terms, so, whoa, there's a lot of them, 5, 9x minus 5 equal 
4x plus 5, subtract 4x, and we get 5x minus 5. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but I actually really, really, really enjoy this stuff. Because it just like, uh, just follows the rules. Um, it's like solving puzzles. So It's just beautiful, right? X equals 2. And then I'm going to put that up here to check. 9 times 2. And let's see how we do. 18 minus 5 is the same as 8 plus 5. Yes. Oh, happy day. Last one. 3p plus... So, okay, just remember that's plus... That turns into positive, right? So plus 10 equals... And that, I'm just going to write P minus 2. Get rid of the parentheses. So let's go ahead and subtract 1P from both sides. Now we get 2P plus 10 equals negative 2. Subtract 10. 2P equals negative 12. Divide by 2. P equals negative 6. Okay. Whoa, sorry. You didn't see any of that, did you? Hopefully, you didn't need to. Uh, now, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in up there. 3 times negative 6. Make sure I'm on camera. Yep. Plus 10 equal negative 6 minus 2. All right. So that is negative 18 plus 10. And that's negative 8. And that is negative 8. True. So you can kind of get on autopilot if you're used to all these steps. And... Uh, Super fun. And you are done.